Is the time for our final confrontation, Carter. Despite all you have witnessed, it is clear you have no intention, not even the will, to escape. In our previous interrogations, you vainly suggested that your physical reality was secondary to your dreams, merely another nightmare of your morbid imagination. We know that you use supernatural methods of inquiry. So tell me, how have you managed to visit these dream realities of yours? That's still your question. I thought you were omnipotent. My answer is the same now as it always has been. I'm not telling you! Face your reality, Carter. Here you remain, a prisoner on your own mortal coil. I have offered you so many chances, but you choose not to take them. Very well. It is true that I have my ways of knowing. I promise the journey will not be pleasant. What is happening? Once more, you enter this place of desolation and ruin. Long have I watched you, your every waking and every passing. I sensed you from afar. Now, I will guide you through these tenebrious fields into the Tahom. Welcome back, Carter Chalibi. I remember your voice. Who are you? You discern my speech well this time. That's good. Comprehension comes when you are focused. Now, proceed. This place. This city was built eons ago by a race much more advanced than yours. Only a handful of your kind could reach this point, but not further. Continue on. Maybe you'll know more this time.
Behold the ongoing process of dissolution. When the time comes, these creatures devour everything, dead or alive, until there is nothing more. Proceed and find me on the frontier of the dissolving illusory. Who are you? I am the last High Priest of the long extinct Daryl race. Faded away eons ago, erased from the annals of time and space. You are reanimated, my body, as you have many times before. We've met over and over again in different times, but Exactly the same place. What just happened? My remains have been kept here for calling me from beyond to this semi-physical plane of existence. You are reanimated, my body, as you have many times before. I know you, Wayfarer. We've met over and over again, in different times, but exactly the same place. What did you call this? A semi-physical plane of existence? Yes, this is the next stage of evolution. A region of transition from corporeal to incorporeal. The last Frontier of all material cosmos. Where am I? You are in Korwa, Cherush. Eons ago, 
my kind entered this region of transition. Broke the bonds of a material existence and built this place. Kor Sherish is perilously close to the heart of Zeon. This is no place for your kind to traverse. I suggest you go back. What is Tehom exactly? Far past the corrupting intrusions of matter and lesser forms of truth, Tehom is the space beyond life and death. Beings of lower planes can only, with their ignorant and brief glimpses, feel its existence. Only the more susceptible among them can understand what they see and thus yearn for it until their existence is exhausted. Their home is the final step before the incomprehensible metamorphosis takes its course. But this is something I am also yet to see. I can remain here no more, for the consistency of this vessel is losing its integrity. Heed my words and return to your own waking reality, wanderer. You cannot comprehend the implications this place has for your kind. Alice, wait for me. Where are you going?
Sorry, scan the body. His brain was fried. Someone probably hacked his neural implants. Killed him remotely by overloading them. This isn't the work of an ordinary hacker. An external sound recorder. I'd better check it out. As I predicted, the Scarab device is the key to the lower sections. Only a handful of their members have one. Some say there is a myth whispered among the elite. Too old to recall. I believe this story is related to opening the device. It goes like this. Out of the primal waters, first a pyramid emerged in the east. Then the scarab headed one, the one of the morning sun. But he, the primeval snake, lurks and waits in the darkest depths to hunt it down as it descends into the underworld from the west. His brain was fraught. So this is. Something in his pocket. This thing looks like an electronic device of some sort. I wonder what it hides.
The primeval snake lurks and waits in the darkest depths to hunt it down as it descends into the underworld from the west. Alice? <laughs> oh, the nightmares again. I thought I was over them. Power the terminals manually again. What a pain in the neck. digital neural study we've been developing together with Akeley for some time. It still has some problems to be addressed. physically unless it's absolutely necessary.
it's better to prepare the mixtures when needed. It should be as fresh as possible to be effective. These are the drawings of the things I've come across in my dreams, or rather my dream quests. For the longest time I haven't had any, but now they've started all over again for some reason. This is the model of the pyramid I've often encountered in my dreams. I had Alice make this one for me. She's quite the talent when it comes to these things. Fine, scan environment for any abnormal activity. She usually refrains from contacting us in this way. I better see what it's all about. It's better to prepare the mixtures when needed. It should be as fresh as possible to be effective. You are being safely transferred to your desired floor. In case of an emergency, a medical bot will be dispatched to your current location. If a mechanical problem occurs, a service bot will be dispatched immediately. Attention, upon your arrival, please mind the gap between the elevator and floor platform. Fine, scan environment for any abnormal activity.
Alice? Is she really dead? Fine. Scan Alice's body. She has no external wounds or injuries on her body. Her entry ports are burned, but there's no indication of physical abuse. According to her log, there, there was a remote cyber attack targeting her brain. But our fight implants were specifically designed to avoid such attempts. It seems it failed to do so. Her entry ports are burned. Dear Odin team members, if you're listening to this message, then it means I'm no longer alive. I'll get straight to the point. There's a lurking danger out there. 
and it is hunting us down. All of you should already have noticed that it is hard to remember recent memories. Something has been used on us during our latest run to the Kepra Corporation. Despite all the technological devices we have, it seems they were able to trace us down. I have barely escaped their hacking attempts, but I know it is just a matter of time. Try to keep yourself off the grid and be safe. Alice. Fi, scan Alice's bedroom for any abnormal activity. I don't remember anything about this radical operation. What is this? A backdoor connection to an external file? No, no, Fi, Fi, cancel this operation. Carter, where exactly are you? I'm in the elevator, at the 26th floor, moving rapidly to the upper levels. Great. I've just created an artificial distortion at Sector 72, so Floor 42 should be quiet right now. You need to find the Biolab Number 4. I've provided you with the correct security clearance for that laboratory. Okay. Alice, wish me luck. until further notice. Carter, what happened? Your adrenaline levels have been fluctuating abruptly. I've just seen someone. That's impossible. I'd have detected it otherwise. Maybe a neural hacking attempt? No. At least none that I know of. Never mind. Let's move on. Damn. Listen. There's a trap in the security system, and it's somehow detecting you, Carter. Let's see, let's see. Come on! Okay, I managed to bypass the security check for the time being. I cannot stop it from here. Look for a way to reach a nearby security terminal. If 
Wi-Fi. Scan for nearby security terminals. I'm trying my best. Carter, please hurry. Try my best. Carter, please make haste. was removed. Thank you for your cooperation. Biolab number four. The thing we're looking for is in there.
finally found it. I better get out of here before I get caught. <laughs>